Welcome guys to another video. I just wanted to thank every single person that has subscribed, that has liked and has commented my video. Thank you very much for the support. We just recently passed 150 subscribers. I am really excited. I know it's, we're still a small family. We're still a small channel, but um, but it was, it was great. Thank you for the support. I really appreciate it. I hope you like this video. It's kind of long. I hope you like it. So also let me know um, in the description what other things you want to see if you want to see more lifestyle you want to see other body other body, 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 body parts or what do you want to see just let me know and uh, and yeah thank you very much again thank you I like the song. <laughs> So we're gonna warm up first. We're gonna do some arms. We're just gonna warm up. It's actually too light though. Tense, it's good. It's such a big deal, I need to get 30. So just to warm up in the meantime, especially when you're doing arms, you wanna get everything warmed up. So we did the warm ups with those, and now we're just gonna do like hammer. Hammer is just a grip. So hammer is like this. So we're just gonna warm up like this. So two sets of each. Remember, triceps is what's in the rear. Bam. Bam. So this machine is, uh, is for triceps. I like it because you get a good extension and you get a, look, a good contraction, that's what I meant, a good contraction. So just for warm up purposes. So we're gonna do that three times. Just for warm up, remember, just warm up. It, doesn't, it shouldn't be hard at all. I always say, when it comes to arm training, arms are such an important, let, let's put it this way. If you were gonna choose one body part, to develop to 100%. Only one. I would choose arms, including shoulders, shoulders and arms, just because when you have big arms, it makes your physique look 10 times better. A good way to assess somebody, if they're in shape or not, is by looking at their arms. I mean, it's not necessarily big. You don't have to be big. There's a lot of people out there that don't have like huge arms, but it's, it's a lot of things. Symmetry is uh, muscle definition, is uh, muscle bellies, but that's just genetics, how your muscle definition and density. Um, also, it's about um, size. So everything everything comes into play. So when you look an amazing arms, when you look big arms, when you look um, impressive arms, it's everything in consideration. It's not only big. You see a lot of guys that they have big arms, but they don't have definition. They just, they're just big. They're just like kind of soft. You know what I'm saying? So. You don't want to be that. Also, you want to be proportionate to your frame and to your height. I'm not a tall dude at all. I'm like 5'7". My arms, in case you're wondering, are 16, 16 inches, 16 and a half, depending if I'm dropping weight or gaining weight. So if I make my arms bigger, like 18 inches, something like that, it wouldn't be symmetric at all because my body is not as big. So it wouldn't look that good. I'm not saying they're freaking amazing, but it wouldn't look proportionate. That's what I'm trying to say. So one more set, the myth. So let's start with 25s and we're gonna alternate. So we're gonna go one, four, down, two. I keep the shoulder in place. And what I mean by that is I don't do this. Some people do that. So just keep your arm in place. Those were heavy at the end. They're gonna go up in weight. You see, I can grab 50, I can grab 60 and get it up. I can do 60, 70 pounds and get it up. But are you getting it up with just the biceps or are you just getting up the weight? That's what I'm saying. Get the weight up, but with the right muscle that you wanna target. Don't get the weight up just to get the weight up and, and the ego lifter. I've seen guys that are curling the 70 pounds and they really have super small arms. How is that possible, right? They're not working their biceps, they're just, who knows what they're working. They're working nothing. All right, let's do 40. Okay, 
again, I always say this, I'm not doing these videos to show off or anything like that. Um, there's a lot of people out there like 10 times bigger, 10 times better looking. But you know what, at the end of the day, you don't know if they're taking something or not. There's a lot of people hardworking, I'm not saying they're taking anything, but I can show you what has worked for me. At this day and age, if you want to compete in bodybuilding or any type of men's physics shows, unfortunately, you have to take a lot of things that I don't want to. I just want to stay natural. So. This is what works for me. For triceps, we're gonna start with something, one of the classic tricep developers. So, we're gonna do close grip. I'm just gonna push. This is how the tricep activates. What I want here, the only thing that is gonna be moving is the elbow. So I bring the elbow here. I never use the shoulder joint, only the elbow joint. This is elbow, this is shoulder. So I'm gonna bring it up and then push down. Some people do like a pressing movement with the chest. So they get like this and they do this. So it's straight, straight, and then from here, push down. Stretch the triceps. Okay, done. <laughs> we have it at 10. We're gonna pump up the weight. Should I try to do the whole machine now, right? I don't think so. It's gonna be a big job. Let's go against everything I say. All right, so the bicep development. Again, bicep is I'm just stretching the arms. That's why I'm doing that. I don't want to look like For bicep development, a lot of people are just doing the same exercise, but with dumbbells, with barbell, with cables. You're doing the same thing, it's just different things, so you have to switch it up and see what you're doing. So we did a neutral grip right now with the dumbbells, and as we went up, if I grab this, as I go up, it's neutral. So when I mean neutral, it's not outside, and it's not inside, it's neutral. So we did neutral already. So we're not gonna work neutral anymore. If you work inner, you're gonna be working more the outer part of the biceps. If you work more outer, you're gonna work more the inner, so it's vice versa. The more outer, the more inner the bicep you're gonna be working. The more inner, the more outer side you're gonna be working. So we did neutral, and if you're starting from the beginning, do neutral. As you go on, whatever you see that you need to improve, that's why you have to switch it up. So we're gonna do with a barbell, we're gonna do inner. So if you see, it's really close. Outer close with outer grip would be this, inner grip is this. So from here, we're just gonna do it like that. All right? And we're gonna put, obviously put some weight. You have a little bit of water there, you know? I don't want you guys to be wet. Obviously, after the first workout, the first um, exercise, your arm should feel really tired. Like, you should feel like you really lift some heavy weight, and you should feel like your arms are, are tired. So, if you wanna go heavy right now, you're not gonna go as heavy as the first exercise. So, focus more on the contraction. If you do eight reps, 10 reps, and it's not hard at all, pump up the weight. You should feel it hard. But if you did it, if you did it like I did on the triceps, like you were like close to the wall, you were like dying, then you need to drop the weight down. So we're gonna do skull crushers. You can do them in different ways. You can do them with an incline bench, decline bench or horizontal, which we're doing right now. The difference is if you do an incline, you get more of a stretch. So when you go down, you get more of a stretch. Decline has less stress on the elbows, and um, horizontal is just like overall working everything. Still working triceps in whatever the variations that you do. It's a good, good, good exercise for triceps. Good exercise for triceps. You can push heavier weight with this. Obviously, it's called skull crusher because you're bringing the bar to your face. And if you fail, all of that weight is going to go and crush your skull. As you can see, it's not a lot of weight. Since our first exercise was the triceps extensions and we went pretty heavy, it's probably your max is going to be cut in half. I really felt this one like shaking throughout the whole time. I'm going to pump up the weight. Two pounds. I'm gonna pump up more. This is 
is it uh, an extra size that not a lot of people don't know? For triceps, you have the lateral head, you have the long head, which is right here, and then you have the short head right here. That's when you get leaner. When I get leaner, that's when you see it more. We already worked all of these right here, all of these. So now we're gonna work the lateral right out. A good way, and what most people know to work the lateral, is the cable, right? The cable with a rope, because at the end you're, you're making that twist. I'm gonna show you one that not, not a lot of people know, and it's really good. Start with 15, just for show up purposes. Just like if you were gonna do a chest press like this, you're gonna start like that. And what you're gonna do is you wanna, your dumbbells are gonna come to your chest, like completely collapse. I'm collapsing there. And then I'm gonna go up. Right, so collapse here. I open my arms and I stretch. Why? Why am I opening my arms? What's the purpose of opening my arms? Um, it's I'm collapsing in the weakest area. So I want to I want to become stronger in my weakest areas. So for example, this is this is this is an angle where you're very you're gonna be very weak. By opening my arms, I'm getting rid of all the momentum. So if I do it continuously, if I just go here and then up, I'm using momentum. So if I go down slowly, open my arms and extend, that's a way of getting rid of all momentum. So I'm literally opening my arms for a split of a second, grabbing again, and explosive movement all the way to the top. As I'm going like that, I'm gonna be working the side part of the triceps. That's what we're working right now. So let's pump up the weight and do a couple, a couple reps. With biceps, you're gonna use the same bench that we have, same angle, position, everything, so we're not moving all over the place. And what we're gonna do, I don't have the other dumbbells, I'm gonna lay down, let my arms rest like this, so I don't have any momentum. And then from here, I'm just gonna go up. And then I'm gonna, I'm gonna tilt my wrist to the side a little bit to work the outer side of the biceps. Let it rest, and then again. You can see in a lot of videos, YouTube videos, that you can just get a bicep workout just by just by switching your, your wrist, you see? The bicep activates just by switching your wrist. So imagine combining that with a bicep movement. So you're pretty much, you're starting like this, and as you go up, you tilt the, the wrist. That's for maximum contraction. So you're doing this, and at the same time you're doing this. So you're doing both at the same time. All right, let's do it. Let's finish this arm workout. So far we've done we've done the dumbbell curls, the tricep extensions, that's one. Then we did with the skull crusher with the close grip curls, that's two. Then the third one was the tricep side extension with dumbbell incline. And we did the incline um, dumbbell curls. To finish off, it's not gonna be here, I don't know why I'm sitting here. To finish off this bicep workout, we're gonna do 20 ones. So 20 ones are gonna be pretty much Seven, the bottom part of the movement. All right. Then it's gonna be seven at the top part of the movement. So stop there, and then up. Stop, and then seven the whole range of motion. So you stretch, and then one. So seven, seven, and seven. So you're working the bottom, the middle, and the top part. The whole thing. And then we're gonna switch it up. So it's gonna be one set underhand and one set overhand. And that's gonna work the brachialis. Brachialis is muscle right here in the middle between the tricep and the bicep is right here. So let's start with overhand. The next set, underhand. Alright guys, so if you like the video, please um, comment, 
subscribe, please, to the YouTube channel, please. I beg you. No, I'm joking. I'm not that desperate. Dude. Anyways, so I, I hope you like the YouTube channel. And I hope you like these type of videos. If you have any questions, please let me know.